Sudan, the most people who are suffering in Western Uganda are the women. A come to it is that even those vulnerable women, they are suffering because they are not getting the same rights. 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 By nature, we are humble people that have never experienced conflict or war in our lives. People were traumatized by the sudden changes when the LRA came to the southeast of Central African Republic. The LRA rebels raped married women, virgins, little girls, and also men. They killed people in different places, dumped the dead bodies, and burned the corpses. I work for a center of child trauma in Juba. The trauma deals mostly with the issues connected with the LRA uh, war and mainly children and women who are affected by the LRA war. If you don't address the issue, then you have a community that is not uh, okay and which is not ready for development. For me, it is vivid because it is first time for me to see those women who come from Central Africa, Congo, and uh, Uganda. It is first time for me even to talk with those brothers of coin, and uh, it is first time for me to interact with those uh, people who are in the areas where coin was live. I was meaning that eh, this LRA, they are only killing our people. But when I came down here, I saw that this LRA, they are doing the same thing to their own tribe. Regarding the, the workshop, it is really very important. Women at this crucial moment, they can play a tremendous role because they are the source of information, the source of peace building. So we, we have to maximally use them. But it's good that they've come together, they've shared ideas, they've listened to one another, and they've known the problem now. And they thought of coming together to address this issue. What I learned on this exchange visit is about the rights of women, gender, and justice that a woman can do what a man can do in terms of conflict resolution and peace building. I learned this from the bringing together of all the women in the LRA affected area regionally to discover and share experience of each country and the various contexts. This uh, women exchange visit, when the women go back, we carry on to make sure that the message will get to the government because LRA is, is really persistent in our place over there. Women are now thinking of going back home to create awareness on the whole issue. And the most important thing they would want to do is to have adult education among those women. Whether they know how to read and write, and once they know how to read and write, they will know how to address their problems and they will know how to speak to people. As a participant who benefited from the trainings and experiences shared of each country affected by the LRA, what we heard and saw here will really help us to start working on this. We will divide ourselves into groups to focus on the Mew. Rafai, Mboki, and Obu. This would help to sensitize our people affected by this catastrophe, the LRA. First of all, I was fearing on how can I go and approach the government and talk to them about the, the women's rights, the rights of the abducted women. But now I have yet the courage that women, we women, we must advocate, we must writing through letters, through radios. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot 
new skills, new experience, testimony, you know, that to make me to go back and work like fresh. I think when I got back, I will empower the women the more. Most special, those ones that came, the participants, they are all from the area affected by the LRA. And they are feeling the same way I'm feeling. So there's going to be a great change.